Dodo, the flightless bird endemic to the island of Mauritius, sadly is no more a part of our ecosystem. This native to Mauritius had adapted to survive hostile climatic conditions. Its large size and flightlessness became the reason for it becoming an easy food for sailors who'd stop at islands. And you would not believe that Dodo went extinct within less than a century of its discovery by the Dutch sailors. Little is known that after the extinction of dodos, a species of tree stopped growing, as if it was mourning. The tembalicoc tree, also known as dodo trees, died because the seeds of this tree could only germinate by passing through the digestive tract of this bird, which would soften its coat. Just like dodos, Many other varieties of flora and fauna have lost themselves to the atrocities of mankind who had in fact not been kind to them. Why do humans forget that every species is an integral part of our ecosystem? If we disturb a single species from the intricately woven web of life, then a domino effect will be witnessed and the doomsday is not far. Biodiversity is one of the many wonders of our world. Most valuable but surprisingly least appreciated. Look closely at nature. Every species is a masterpiece exquisitely adapted to the environment. Who are we to destroy or even diminish biodiversity? Hunting and poaching are heinous acts unabashedly practiced by human beings even today. And through our lenses, we bear witness to the devastating consequences of these acts, where the harmony of nature is disrupted and innocent lives are lost. Many species have lost their existence and many have become endangered. The relentless pursuit of trophies and profits drives human beings to leave behind a trail of destruction that threatens the delicate web of life. Pollution of different kinds is affecting diverse forms of life on our planet. These pollutants can negatively impact plants, impairing their growth and reproductive processes. As plants form the foundation of many ecosystems, their decline can ripple through the food chain impacting the diversity and abundance of animal species. Climate change has profound implications for biodiversity. Rising temperatures, changing precipitation patterns and more frequent extreme weather events disrupt ecosystems and threaten the survival of numerous pivotal species. Habitat loss is a leading cause of biodiversity decline. When natural habitats are destroyed or degraded, 
countless species lose their homes, leading to a loss of biodiversity and disruption of ecological balance. Habitat loss poses a particularly grave threat to endemic species. These species are uniquely adapted to specific habitats and are found nowhere else in the world. When their habitats are destroyed or fragmented, endemic species face a higher risk of extinction as they often lack the ability to adapt to new environments. Do you want to suffocate in plastic? Do you want to carry an oxygen cylinder? Do you prefer to live in the concrete rather than enjoying under the canopy of trees? Can you imagine the earth without the blues and the greens? We at ML Khanna DAV Public School believe that your life right now is a result of what you did some years ago and your life in some years from now will be a result of what you do right now. We at our school are making the most of our present time to nurse our ailing planet. As we know that small moves can have huge gains and we have undertaken some small initiatives to enrich and preserve our biodiversity. Our school has developed a butterfly park in the school campus to conserve and protect the beautiful winged creatures. This park has both host plants and nectar plants for butterflies. This is one of the no pruning areas of our school. We let the plants grow as they grow in the wild. As we believe that nature is more important than beautification. We have a mud puddling area in the park and we serve slices of fresh fruits to the butterflies. These insects are an integral part of the food chain. They act as pollinators and are extremely essential for the ecosystem. We witness a large variety of butterfly species in our campus now. This initiative has made everyone aware about the host plants and the feeding habits of these wonderful pollinators. Growing your own food is one of the most powerful steps you can take for the health of yourself, your family and your planet. The students at our school have developed a kitchen garden in the school campus. We are growing vegetables on our own in a completely organic way. Students are involved in sowing seeds planting saplings, manuring, and watering plants. They understand the requirements of different plants, their life cycle, ways of seed disposal, and all the other aspects that are required to grow plants. We also realize how much hard work and efforts are involved in nurturing plants, and this inculcates the habit of seizing the practice of food wastage in our school students. Rise in air pollutants beyond safe limits. In Delhi, due to burning of crop waste by farmers, forced us to think about probable solutions. We at ML Khanna DAV Public School, Dwarka, refused 
to breathe through masks and so procured the stock waste from a village in our vicinity and started mushroom cultivation in our school this is our attempt to avoid burning of organic farm waste in an attempt to increase biodiversity of the school we have used discarded water tanks to create water bodies in the school aquatic plants like water lettuce water lily water hyacinth hydrilla are flourishing in our aquatic habitat lots of snails dragonflies and damsel flies are also common visitors of our pond during monsoon season every year students get a chance to witness the entire process of metamorphosis as frogs lay eggs in our pond it is a wonderful platform for students to understand various interrelationships between different species for instance mosquito larvae are eaten by dragonflies keeping their population under control we appreciate the fact that nature does not need assistance by human beings coexisting with all the components of our ecosystem is an important value to inculcate among children we organize various activities to reinforce it several birds like ducks guinea fowl rooster and ham roam around freely in our school campus displaying an excellent example of partnership between human beings and other creatures all these initiatives are intended to teach students the value of vasudhaiva kutumbakam that is the earth is one family it is coexistence or no existence